Hey guys, it's Ryan from Team Coward, and I'm here with the rest of Team Coward, and we're going to be reviewing Ruby Volume 3. Well, at least the first episode, episode that came out. We're back. Shit's we're great. back from... Hi. Hello. Shit's great. The unprofessionalism has returned. Of oh, course. Yes. Now, the thing... Now, you say it's returned, but I think the question is... When did it leave? Well, I mean, That's it's been gone. Very... I mean, we can hardly be unprofessional if we aren't actually doing anything. Oh, that reminds me. I have to actually put something up. Hold on. Let me go do that. Oh, and you're getting on my case for not being ready. <laughs> <laughs> Shut up. It seems like <laughs> I'm the only one who's ready. Listen, your your job is easy. My job is hard. What the fuck? Not. No, listen, Will, you have no, no idea how you, hard Ryan. it is to Chappie. constantly give Chappie you shit. So welcome to our you podcast know how where we complain it is to about our, new how material our every are. conversation. It's rough, buddy. <laughs> I know. Yeah. It's rough. Hey, guys, want to shut the fuck up so we can actually talk about Ruby? Yes. I mean, we can. I mean, yeah, that's good. Yeah. So, so I got to say, I noticed that the frame rate dropped for Volume 3. But there's a good reason for it. It's because it of the fucking scene porn in the background. That amazing background scenery. Yeah, and I the build-in characters. Any frame rate drop. I have to say I'm glad because, uh, I mean, like it or not, this was basically the test to see if the new animators could keep up with Monty's, like, uh, abilities. And I'd say they did a fantastic job. They're, they're I, doing honestly, I barely, no I honestly barely noticed anything. Uh, yeah, but were, you're not trying to look at that stuff. I did notice the incredible jump in quality, though. For so long. Yes. Everyone else just froze. Mm -hmm. What happened? Like, compare, compare premiere of season three to finale of season one. See what happens. Oh, it's different. Yes, that'll be a really good comparison to make. But uh, I, I just want to say though, I've been looking forward to this like tournament arc for so long, and I, they did such yeah, a good so job with the fights. Yeah, yeah. It's gonna. Mm -hmm. I'm not. It's it's pretty. It's actually pretty hard to fuck up a tournament arc in just any form of media. It's oh, it, it is not that hard. You can fuck it up. Oh yeah, Mainly of course. But it's not. It's not. It's not super hard to do though. Very true. In any case, men. Where do we begin? Well, uh, that that um that wonderful uh, Neo disguise was fantastic. Yeah, yeah. yeah that I looked at it and I was like, Noir. Why is the PlayStation got us here? What? What? No one else play <laughs> Hyperdimension Neptunia. Uh, uh, we got a Robo Dan Chappie. here. That's yeah, not gonna show. Got... That's not gonna show up in the final. Y the final you product. you may have to actually just not use your webcam. <laughs> Well, it's not doing us any good anyway, so whatever. Better? Yeah. yeah uh, Hopefully. Much better. Yeah, the reason anyway. why I said let's use webcam is just so that we don't cut off each other so, when we're talking. Well. So speaking of Neo, how about the fact that she made a fucking audible noise? Mm -hmm. That's right, she did! Yep. I didn't notice it. I didn't hear it. She, it, it was like, a very small giggle right before she shit stomps that dude. And she's yeah, rocking the new the hairdo, hair. too. She is. Yeah, now she nice looks like here, Noir dude. from Hyperdimension Neptunia. You're you're not you're not wrong. You're not wrong. That's what I thought talk? it was at first. It took me a while to figure out that it was Neo. So this makes me wonder where the hell is Torchwick? Like, what is he doing? Uh, he's he's all, in he jail. He's the best villain in all of Ruby. <laughs> dude, Torchwick is in jail. Oh yeah, I, I love how the ending jail of last season was literally like a stasis pod. It's been like a year since I've last seen. Are you telling me you didn't rewatch all the episodes? Yeah, <sighs> man, you didn't, you didn't marathon the entire show. What's wrong with you? You have a yeah, job to God. do. God, do. Ryan, what the fuck's <laughs> wrong with you? It's called Dark Dawn. I wish you should totally read. By the way, stop pulling yourself it. out. We have a job to do. But that's what we do, and that's our job. <laughs> We, that, no. Of course. Look, my dream is for a Team Coward and Dark Donna to be on the level of Kiss on how bad we whore ourselves out. <laughs> I'm not gonna. Well, I'm just gonna leave that alone. I'm just gonna let that be there. 
I um, mean, pre-order now. I'm Dick Chappy from Quird. I mean, we're at least one four two. And I'm here selling Dick Chappy's Chappy Dick Cream. And for four ninety nine, <laughs> we will have Will Crow from Team Coward go over and deliver this Chappy Cream. And for an Directly extra fifteen dollars, we will actually talk about the thing we came here to talk about. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> yes, give okay, us money uh, and we'll do our I job. Say, can I say also? I really like with Ruby how I think you remember I wasn't to totally like keen on the change from silhouettes to v characters for backgrounds, mm -hmm. but I really like how much detail they put into making very unique characters, even though they're never gonna show up again, probably. Yeah. Yeah. Plus, uh, they had the uh, the still did. shots in there as well, which was nice. It's like they don't have to spend the whole time rigging all of those characters; they can just draw it, and they they and I've I've seen rigging. It's it's annoying, like really I, I annoying. Mean, I, yeah, it was cool actually seeing when they when the two professors were getting the uh, doing the announcer intro to the tournament. It was cool seeing the various scenes from around Remnant. Yeah, yeah, that was really cool. Like we got to see more of the world. Also, yeah. an extra plus five for um, there being a hillbilly uh, continent run around somewhere. Yeah, Bing. probably not the entire continent. Rev right? No, no, it's Rev Australia. It's, it's yes, it's it's the entire continent. That that is my theory. Um, new Team Cower theory. There is a new continent, and all it involves is a bunch of uh, couch potato hillbillies. Oh, safari. Yes. Who all live in trailers? Yep. I would live oh, there if we actually, were in the Ruby Actually, verse. didn't wait. What, wait, there. I thought one of you said something about it being Australia. I did. It, it's basically oh, the savanna. No, see, no, that makes sense. Because that means that's where we're gonna they're gonna find the Australium, which will allow them to create super geniuses, thus allowing them to develop the changeable weapons into transformers, as per my <laughs> theory. God, well, it's been I like haven't what? forgotten about it. It's been like two, two <laughs> yeah, two and years. You're still still not forgotten about, about that. it. <laughs> well, still holding out. <laughs> it's gonna happen. I'm, I'm not sure you're right, but I still love the theory. <laughs> For those of you who don't I genuinely know, forgot about that. For those Thanks of you for who don't me know, how wonderful uh, and stupid it is. For those of you who don't know about my theory, check out like our first. I think it's some of the earliest videos we have, and when we talk about Ruby, I, I think it's in like the first. Except round. Except don't first actually round check it out because. No, check no. It out. that was, one of our, I, that no, was always check our it out. best one and our most popular one. Do check it out. For those of you who don't know what Australium is, that's about Team Fortress Two. I hesitate to use the word lore, but apparently Australium is what makes Manco, like the head of Manco, like a super Team... genius badass, and he develops all their weapons. So they Lovely. don't just spike everybody's drinks with dust. They spike no, 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 it with that, Australium? That, Austra well, it's going to be a du the dust equivalent to Australium. That's going to turn them into super genius. Can we talk so about how the, how, how the dust seller from the first episode is now, like, a, a chef at the tournament? I'm, and I'm he's almost, also, like, the most badass character there. I'm, I'm yeah. almost Literally, convinced that he's actually just a putting, twin of, like, the same guy. He has to put up with so much shit. I'm glad he's finally getting some form of a break. He looks no, like, he I think it's the same guy. He's just the most badass merchant. I mean, he, he is super the, fast. He seems to be the Cabbage Man um, from uh, the Avatar series. No, no, yeah, he's very brave the Cabbage Man. The cabbage man cabbage. He just sticks to his cabbages and is helpless when anything happens. This guy, his shop gets destroyed, he fucking gets a new job. His truck gets destroyed for that new job, he fucking sets up uh, like a ramen stand. He's the best fucking one at it. This guy's an, an inspiration. He that is the he best is. fucking character. He is the Oh, you, best your life work. got fucked up by, off by when... outside of your control? Fucking pick up the pieces and make something of yourself and be a badass. I yeah. love him. Don't let your dreams yeah. be dreams! Don't let your <laughs> memes be memes. It's true. Oh, it's so true. So, so anyway, ba so... Back to the... Oh, yeah. What were you going to say, chaps? Uh, get, getting on an actual point, I'm absolutely in love with how expressive the characters are now yes. in terms of just yes. facial expression and motion are at an all-time high and oh yeah i swear to god 
Blake made the b- single best fucking faces I've seen yet. Oh, I know. During the you know Blake. what scene. Blake has yeah. some of the best, like, like just normal animations that I've seen so far in this Can I, can I just it's say just, also... It's all the, point. The, um... On point. The, with Blake, especially because she is the, like, dark character. Like, look, I, I don't want to say the angsty character because she isn't. No, she's but the rogue. Character... Yeah, like, l- let me say, let me put it this way. If your character has a painful backstory, if your character likes to wear black, if eyeliner has ever touched their face for a reason that isn't they want to look pretty, you have to be <laughs> careful that they don't become, like, an angsty whiner. And I love, and, and, and Blake is not by any stretch, but oh, no. I love that they gave her that scene with the fish. And yeah. she's just so fucking adorable. So she isn't just the stoic all the time. I yeah. loved that yep. scene. And let's yes. not forget Nora. You d- Nora to buy us food, but she could. <laughs> but she could. Nora, oh my, I don't know what happened with Nora with her being, like, just going insane and being all, yes. like, we're going to, we're doomed. I, let, let, hold on, what was the name? Uh, oh, Team Lucifer. <laughs> I know. We've been, it's was like, fantastic. It's like, let's see, we have, let's see, we have Jean, we have, like, so it's like we have a legendary warrior, someone who's literally a ninja. Some we have me and who can, John, who we've can all bench been six of for us two years or something. <laughs> she was like, um, "You have me, and I can bench six of me." And John, <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> John, did you know that I can well, bench press training. several children? <laughs> uh, how much do you want to bet she has? <laughs> That she more than likely has bench pressed several see that. children. She probably also, has. Uh, the person who did the voice, by the way, for um, for Ren was pretty good. I still yeah. kind of it made me very sad just seeing him, but he, the person it's, who did the voice did a good job. It's his brother. Yeah. Uh, you, know, you know that's Monty's brother, right? Yeah. Is it? I did not know. Yep, that. it's Monty's brother. Yep, that's Monty's brother. Well, he did a good job. Yep. Yeah, he did. I believe. I I agree. He did do a good job. Yeah. He's like, <laughs> I love the part I, when John's like, oh, I feel like I'm going to hurl. And Nora's like, do it on the enemy. Yeah. And then <laughs> like, that's and a legitimate like, battle tactic. That's, gr- that's gross. Well, all's fair. But you feel like you're gonna. <laughs> all's fair in this place. Also, did anybody pick on, up on the change of voice for Mercury? And who that oh, is? Oh, you mean the one that I pointed I, out? Yes. I yeah, exactly. yeah. No, he, Chaps pointed this out to me yesterday. Yeah. Do you want to know who voices him? Who? Sasuke. Just who the hell do you think I am? Yeah. Oh my god. And no, Sasuke. No, it can't be him. Then I might have to like him. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's Yuri fucking Lowenthal. I, I couldn't believe it when I heard it, but I looked it up. and yeah, I know. Because his original voice actor left Rooster Teeth a few months ago, they fucking replaced him with Yuri Lowenthal of all people. Jesus Christ. You got you got Sasuke oh. and not Simone. Mention, not to mention, fucking, apparently, they got fucking Vic Mignogna on the crew, too. Yep. Who's <laughs> he voicing? He's voicing uh, Crow. Cr- yeah, Crow. I still I, I hope... need to hear Crow speak. I want to hear Crow Elric. <laughs> you know, if they have um, Vic Mignogna in, what if they give him just, like, the bio Broly treatment where they don't even give... Where, where they pay him, but they don't even give him lines. They pay him to just go... <laughs> <laughs> hey, um, did you tell these guys that story? I'm pretty sure I did. I have, I don't know what the story is. What is it? I mean, it's right, probably right. worth so doing you know, it on a recording. You know, Vicky, you know Vicky's the voice of Broly, right? He is? Vicky, yes. Yeah. Yeah. Amazing. So anyway, so in, in in the movie Bio Broly, it's not actually Broly. It's like some freak-ass oh, yeah. or whatever, right? And so as Ryan told me, they literally, they, Broly doesn't have any voice lines. Vic was just like, they pay, they paid me to go into the room and just into the microphone or something like that. Yeah, they didn't even give him lines. Just that's kind of awesome. Yeah, yeah no, that's pretty much just what he scream. Did. Um, okay, okay. Uh, back to Ruby though. I have yes. to say, I'm glad they didn't put the fight in because when they were getting to it, it seemed like they. This was a long episode. I just mm-hmm. was really surprised. It's like minutes. I was like, it's... Jesus Christ, like. Thank you. Yes, oh this God. is the perfect length. 
perfect length for a Ruby episode. I will take this. Mm -hmm. I'd say t I'd say ten to fifteen is plenty acceptable. So if this is just like a one time thing because it's like they're it's coming back, I'm cool with that. But seventeen is like, damn guys, good job. <laughs> yeah, mm -hmm. they did. They put a like I I can safely and say they... now that after this episode, like Ruby has now become like more legit. I, I, I would say, I, like, yeah. I'm oh, sorry, go I, ahead. I wouldn't put it at legit legit yet, but it's it's really getting there. It's really it's getting totes there. It's almost legit, guys. <laughs> guys, guys, this thing we like that this studio works super hard on and put a lot of money into, it's almost legit. <laughs> You know what I fucking mean, though. Don't yeah, be no, fucking no. dick. We, we just want to be on. You're like you're like you're like seven, you're like twenty five percent legit. <laughs> Good job, Mr. Okay, Dude, they're at least seventy five. We're gonna put this on the fucking fridge. <laughs> All right. <laughs> also, um, if you noticed, uh. Uh, well, no, no. Let me let me defend myself here. What? Oh, because okay, fine. Yeah. Defend yourself. You're gonna need it. <laughs> so, are you going? Are you you fucks really believe that volume one was legit? Yes. It was semi legit. It, it was almost. It was like ninety five percent legit. I'd say it was at least as legit as some of the later seasons of Red vs. Blue. Well, yeah, but those are no, all this like is, you know. This this shit is way legit. beyond volume one. This this is way. Be I agree with you. I just think it's always been legit, <laughs> dude. When it first came out, like a bunch of weeaboo fucks were demanding the quote unquote original Japanese voice, uh, like voice, like voice acting. Hmm? Like that's Wait. how legit it was. I that mean, an that that anime fucktards thought it was, and I say anime fucktards as distinct from regular likable people who enjoy anime. Le like thought there was an original well, sub that was better. You than know this is Japanese version, anime. right? I do. Yeah, there is a Japanese version. The point and, I make is and, that and you know that Yang is Ryuko, right? Yeah. Is she? I have to listen to this now. I know. Oh, it's, it's so version. amazing. She does. It's just that she does the aura, like when she punches the uh, the. She um, does what? She does ora 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 when she punches the um uh, the bears okay. in the woods. You need to give me a link. <laughs> I'll need to find it. Again. I need to hear that. <laughs> I need need to hear that. It's, that it's fantastic. Awesome. Speak yeah, in fact someone needs to make a gif of Yang doing stuff to actual like JoJo ora 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 ora. Mm-hmm. They we need Preferably... to see a Ruby menacing post. Just, that should not be hard. Just that's, like, in fact, in, in fact, Will, I'm gonna go find that like fan art <laughs> once we're done for you to, for you. Or I think Kenny said he's gonna do it to to edit that into that. We're gonna find some yeah. JoJo Ruby picks. Please do. No, well, but in you the know comments what? You, below, you, link us to some JoJo Ruby crossover fan art. But before, but before you do that, how about how about this? Um, no, no, fuck off. All right. <laughs> he wants to defend himself still. <laughs> Oh, I thought you were gonna whore out your comic again. <laughs> <laughs> okay, come on, guys. Oh, <laughs> he works. No, he works very on hard on that, and he's done a very good job at advancing. He does, yeah, and, I'm so, and I'm so proud of him. But that's not what this podcast is about. <laughs> Look, you know what I mean when I say it's not like. Yeah, no, I know what you mean. I get what you mean. It's not like an official, like the same way as you see an official anime. It's not like the usual like twenty minute set time. Yeah, yeah. I know. I get what you mean. But mm -hmm. it's getting there. I think though, it, it's what I think though is that you're you're judging it based on the wrong criteria. It's not that it needs to be legit by the terms of a, of a regular anime. Well, it's it's an no, anime I did thing. It's a web series, and I think it should be judged by on its own merits as such. Also, it's western, so that allows it to be fifteen minutes. No, oh, that's more. actually no. I, I'd say it's different because even Western TV shows and cartoons that like, for something of the same kind of scope as Ruby, they generally be about twenty minutes an episode. Eh. I mean, well, scope sure, but in depth, like, there are some cartoons now that are like. Actually, you know what? No, Gravity Falls. Gravity Falls is definitely like, its scope is huge. 
Does, no, is I guess that 15 that's, minutes each? No, that one's 22. I'm certain those are 20, yeah. Steven Universe is 11. And that's yeah. pretty in-depth. In uh, I mean, I hesitate to not say Steven Universe is legit because I, there are plenty of people like in my pod who love it that will murder me if I say it's not. I will but, murder um, you through the internet. I, I will just say that that the show itself is great, but the fan base, it, it could, you know, be way better. Well, and look are, forward to our... that be said of all things, though? Yeah. Yeah, pretty much. But this is not a Steven Universe podcast. Back on Yes. Track. Okay. If you want us to make us, no, no. Just <laughs> I mean, I'd be happy to do that. To talk about Steven Universe. No, I love it, that show. No, if, if 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 we were to do that, you would not get a very happy Ryan after what's going on right now. But anyway, and, well, um, actually, we should do a thing where they like they love it, and then me and you, Ryan, will just like bash it, and then we yell. No, at no, like I like podcast. it. I just, I'm just. He doesn't really... like the pacing, and I'm I'm with no, him on that. No, no, no. I was talking about Steven the Steven Universe thing. Yeah, it's 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 uh ex it's. Drawing out um, things. No, so that we it can has nothing to do no, with. Not, it's something else. Basically, from what okay, I understand. Guys, uh, no, guys, drop it for this yes. is Ruby podcast. This is Ruby. If you want to know what the fuck we're talking about? Tell us to make a, a Steven Universe podcast in the comments below. Which yes, I will we'll happily do. Back to Ruby. Yes, back to Ruby. <laughs> All right. Um, yeah. Also, uh, in the the beginning uh, sh uh, scene, if you noticed, uh, what's his name? Tai Yang. He's just like a cardboard cutout in the background. It's fantastic. Wait, who's Tai Yang? Uh, Yang and Ruby's dad. Oh right, I saw that. And I was like, oh my god, it's the fr it's Red Trailer. I remember that. Yeah. That was cool. Mm -hmm. It was kind of. It was actually kind of sad. Let's yeah. to talk it was really dead sad. Mom. I do but, agree with well, that cardboard like, cutout. Ruby's though. in 3D, but then he's just kind of off in the background, like not <laughs> moving. <laughs> 2D stand in. I I thought that was like, fucking hilarious. Like the, to, to be fair, he was out of focus. I didn't find it hilarious. Like I just kind of accepted. No, but but the focus, dog kind of was three dimensional, and he was a 2D. <laughs> <laughs> maybe that's I mean, it, maybe the, that's the truth. Is a, Their dad is a is a is a cardboard <laughs> cutout, and he has been all along. <laughs> He's in league with the scythe. Sne plot twist, it turns out the scythe is Ruby and Yang's sister. <laughs> god. Oh god. I mean... They're, they're gonna pull, like, yeah, the scythe is gonna pull, like, a, a kill the kill covers thing and, like, take over Ruby's body and they become the first Decepticon. <laughs> god damn it! <laughs> <laughs> Cybertron confirmed. Uh, tell me, I'm telling you, it's gonna happen. <laughs> Fucking. I need to go back and rewatch your old podcast so I can remember all the details of my theory. Decepticons confirmed. What happened oh, to episode one of volume well. three? What happened to that? Transformers what to what? in what disguise. What happened to episode one, volume three? I thought we were talking about that. We're talking about yeah, Ruby okay, uh, in disguise. Ruby. Oh, also, can we say, what did you guys think about the characters who were fighting the team? I don't remember the name that was fighting Team Ruby in the first round. Oh, uh, what's her name? Team Combat Skateboard! The best! I love- my favorite was actually the martial artist girl. Yeah! Yeah, yeah. no, she was amazing. She was the best. <laughs> yeah, actually, Hold besides on. her and the skateboard girl, the other Ruby girl, character the other two I are kind of generic and to punch me in the face, and I don't even know her name! It's Hold great. on, I'll find it. Anyway, I love no, that team where she just punches her They turn into guns! Yeah, it's pretty fantastic. I know, I like how like, her, her skateboard got broken in half and they turned into guns, and I realized people she's fought before have probably destroyed her skateboard so many times that she made it intentionally breakable. Yeah, so no, when they um, throw that on her, she my, can just turn them into uh, guns. The person I watched the episode with first, like, literally his reaction was like, you know, it broke in half, he's like, oh no, and then like it folds into guns, she's like, oh, they're supposed to do that. Okay. <laughs> I imagine it's been like she has her skateboard and then just so many times people she's fighting have broken it to limit her mobility that she just got sick of it and made her new skateboard so that it was intent like it's made to break apart so that when someone tries to break it it doesn't ruin her skateboard. Yeah, though she totally fell for the shadow cologne roofs. That was good. Actually, all of their powers 
especially Weiss, has been getting real good with her powers. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I was really yeah, impressed Weiss with the forming the ice. Seriously, how, how, do you, say, how do you... The highlight of the, the fight for me was how it was won through tactical Yang inbound. <laughs> okay, but like... Tactical hell... Yangular strike. Yes. How do you, um... How do you fall for the... Like, she saw that, um... That... Blake could do copies. Like, how the hell do you fall for the the obvious I know, doppelganger who's not yeah, even obvi- moving? To make the main characters look cooler, Will. I had to say, I that was, oh, something that really impressed me, I love this. When I saw that when Team Juniper went up, they have the Pokemon changeable arena. Yes! Yeah, they do. I, that I love that! <laughs> I love it! And it makes so much sense, too, having randomized environmental effects when your fighters, when, the, like, hunters are so built to use the environment to their advantage. That's such a good idea. And I... Pokemon! Speaking of that... A randomized um, arena! Fuck yes! Speaking of that, uh, in the, the, the fire and ice scene, um, like, all of those crystals and ice things or whatever, those have got to be, like, uh, natural dust formations because you could just use them yeah that's right the, the skateboard chick actually did use them those are that's yeah. those were dust formations which right is pretty cool I, I find the tournament structure of uh the tournament itself is very interesting mm-hmm. yeah the t- you start out the you have the full team matches and then everyone who won chooses two to represent them for a doubles match and then the winners of those so you, chooses one person do you guys want to say that the again because you ca- could you say that again, Dan? Because you kind of went roboty there for a second. Okay, uh, so uh, what they have, it's uh, two. They have the regular team matches, and all the teams that want a team match choose two of their members to be part of the doubles match. And yeah. then the winners of the doubles matches send one of their... And it's interesting because it's not just another one of their team. It has to be one of the two who won the doubles match. It has to go on to yep. the singles yep. matches. And that's interesting, because it means you can't be like, oh, these two are good working together, this guy's good at fighting for himself. You have to use, like, the person who's going to go through every step. Yep. Yeah, that's really cool. So, quick aside, the team that they fought was Auburn, uh, comprised Auburn, yeah. of Arslan, Bolin, Reese, and Bolin! Deer. I assume Bolin. Bolin is probably the a martial artist chick. Nope. Bolin's nope. the guy it? with the staff. Ah, okay. Arslan is the martial arts chick, who, by the way, is totally the leader. Not just because she's a first, but because that, that, like, shrug, the the, the eye roll that she does, uh, Arslan, uh, that is such a leader, like, eye roll. Like, uh, ugh, this again. God damn it. I have to save them all the time. And then, and then the the crazy punch that breaks open the huge, like, ice ball was fantastic. I love that so (laughs) much. So good. She's like she, the the best thing about her is she winds up all of her moves exactly how you'd want to. Like yeah. whoever mocaps her. For is those of you who don't know, uh, Will, about. Ryan, and I all actually do martial arts, and and Will in particular studies it real intensely. So I'm knows. a huge nerd when it comes to martial arts. Okay, huge you're a nerd. huge nerd when it comes to more things than martial arts, but that's a conversation. For True, me. but when it comes to martial arts specifically, I am also a nerd. Guys, guys, your nerd dicks are equally big. <laughs> Actually, nah. Nah, I think Will has a few inches on me. Yep. <laughs> I, you know, I, I'd say it's very mature of you for you to be able to admit that, Kathy. Yeah. <laughs> you know, I definitely think he has the bigger nerd on him than I do. <laughs> so, nerd size comparisons aside... Um, uh, ooh, uh, did you guys see Scarlet's, uh, like, Scarlet and Sage in the, the intro sequence? Yes! Because, are we talking yes. about the, oh, are uh, we talking about the original team that had Crow in it? What? No, 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 no. no. We're talking about, uh, we're talking about Team Crow. Sun. SSN, or SSSN with Sun Wait, on that's it. that's the with the guy who the, Ruby's with in the intro? The, the guy, no, 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 the, uh, the guy SS- who's on, uh, you know Sun, the, the monkey dude? Yeah, He's yeah. Yeah, yeah. Sage, who I'm... Or not Sage, Scarlet, who I'm convinced should be voiced by Gavin, but probably won't, has, like, a straight-up, like, saber and uh, pirate-style gun. 
Oh my god, that's like, awesome. And, and he even cool. has the coat that's like hanging on by for dear life on his back. You know, like he doesn't oh, have the, his... the, the One Piece Marines yep. coat cave? Yep, yep, yep. And it's fantastic, and I want to see him. That's pretty great. Oh, what is it? Now I'm trying to think of what's the name of that, that pistol that's used in piratey type things? Oh, a flintlock. Uh, flintlock. Pistol. Yeah, it could flintlock, be a flintlock. That's it. it could be several I things. I mean, it's, it's, it's not a flintlock. It's like a dust powered revolver that just looks like a flintlock, I'm sure. I mean, but... sons are flintlocks, basically. <laughs> yeah. Changed between two of them. Yeah. I'm pretty um, sure we'll see him in the next staff. episode. Oh, well, actually, it's true. I want to see Suns team fight. That sounds that. I can't, yeah, I, I want to see yeah. Suns team because you know they were in the opening for last season, and where the fuck were they? Oh, oh for, uh... The, uh, Scarlet and Sage were in fact in the season. It's just they were never shown. Like like they're shown in an aerial view when they're when Team Ruby is going to get on the helicopter. Like they're literally there. Like if you see it, I, the, I didn't even realize. Like see it, I had I saw a uh, an image online where somebody had circled them, and that and I had I was so blown away I had to go back and watch it, and it's totally there. Uh, just standing yeah, there. Oh, oh. Also, do you guys remember the, the I loved when Emerald was talking to Team Ruby. Like, oh, you know, it feels like we never see our teammates. Good joke, by the way. How do they do? Yeah. And then it's just flashback to, like, Emerald and her group, like, just kicking their asses. They did good. <laughs> yeah. I, I like how they make the villains, like, like likable. <laughs> yeah, interesting. They're not likable. I really want to see, see more Emerald. It looks like I, they're I'd gonna say... be getting more of it, and that makes me so glad. I want to see more of I'm kind of sad. Neo. I, I, yeah, I get Emerald and Neo are my favorite of the bad guy crew as as can, of right now. Can I say this about Emerald? I realized when she was talking to him, it was fairly obvious that she was faking a lot of it. But I found it a little bit kind of sad that she like completely hated Team Ruby, and there wasn't a little bit of like, eh, I guess they're not so bad. I, I mean, like... I get like that's determining her character, and that's fine yeah, for a but... character. But I kind of would have liked to see a villain who was just but... like, eh, they're okay. But they're happy <laughs> all the time. You know, I, Emerald is is probably that person who is like your average Joe. You just put her in with these group of fucking weird ass teenagers who are super happy all the time, and she's just like, God, fucking damn it! You just no, want to hit see all what of Emerald this. is, nice, Ryan. Man. Ryan, I know what Emerald is. Emerald is you when you're working at Bonkers. <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> yes. He's not wrong. <laughs> Oh yeah, fake smile. Yeah, this is all good. You yeah, fuckers. kids are awesome. <laughs> they are awesome, just not when they're at my job. <laughs> <laughs> Again, I still hold that it's specifically when they're at Bonkers, because I've worked with kids too, like at my karate, and they were not nearly as awful. Mm -hmm. They're not like, nearly they're... as awful. You, they went for, they went from like, oh, this is the worst thing ever to. You know, okay, you're you're somewhat tolerable. I can deal with you, but then when you're outside of that shit, it's all it's all good. But anyway, I, that, back to I Ruby. I still think it's specifically bonkers. I mean, the place gives itself its own name, so yeah. Yeah, it gives I, yourself yeah. your own name. It's it's like, kind of evident. You wanna know what else was bonkers? <laughs> what? Ruby. Episode yes. one of Volume Three. <laughs> Yes, right. Ryan. What, what else about Ruby Volume Three was bonkers? Who oh, knows? we finally saw Ruby's dad, who's in the background, and yes. Ruby's mom. Yeah, we discussed this, and sort he's of. a literal just cardboard cutout. Hold no, up, no, no. I'm I gonna loved, find a picture. We saw the picture too. We actually saw the picture, and we could see Summer Rose and whoever that other chick was that I assume is Ru is Yang's mom. Well, see, okay, so I was talking to the guy who I I watched this with. Uh, oh, and I'm gonna get a, a link for. Oh, you didn't want to watch it with us, though. I'm sorry, yeah. you guys couldn't have access to it on the day that it came out for me because I pay. Yeah, yeah that's true. Um, it's because a, we're cheap. Yes, we could. B, fucking go to a rabbit room and log into your account, and then we could all see it. No, <laughs> no. Cappy, you watch Cappy. Somebody else if, okay, so Cappy. if you go to that picture. To, to be fair, the reason we couldn't watch with him is because we are cheapskates who refuse to pay for the privilege of seeing it a day early. Well, I, I'm cheapskate no, too. Too, it's just is, I decided to actually. All he has to this. do is log into his account in a rabbit room, which is can, a really can awesome Can we focus website. here? If everybody goes to the link, I have something oh, to yes. say. Oh, you you gave us a link for us. Yes. Yeah. Yes, that picture. Okay, what, so if you link? notice, where did you send this link? It. Oh. 
So if you notice the See, picture of of this. the woman who looks like Raven, her hair is way more spiky than the one that we see in uh, in the show. Obviously, yeah, it could be an artist's that... rendition, but she is missing the thing on her head, the the little hair thing. She's missing that. That's not in that picture. Okay, okay, but to be fair, Will, and you might be making this point yourself, but to be fair, uh, let's see, what was their dad's name? Uh, Tai Yang looks a lot less glasses and o looks a lot less old, and Summer Rose looks a lot less dead as well, so just saying her hair might have changed in t over time. Okay, but normally with a character, you don't... And what the hell is that World. thing called, by the way? The little what hair the thingy? What the hell is called? Alt alternate alternatively, it could be a case of we didn't have enough budget to make a whole new model, so we reused assets. That could be that. That could no, be a and, and I understand that. I'm it's literally just... just going to assume that's the case. And now that we have a new season and budget, hey, new model. It, it's Again. just, you know, it's our job as fans to be skeptical about this stuff. Oh, actually, I look fans. Uh, will. Jobs? will, 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 Pick will, one. guys. Will, click on the link in the wiki to Raven Bronwyn, and where the picture is, click masked. Her hairstyle when she's masked is actually the same as in the, the picture, as in the photo. Oh, shit, I you're know, right. but you yeah. don't see the mask uh, on in the picture. Is it? And I, I understand. It, my point is that they are clearly the same person. She just changes her hair. As well as it's Also, outfit. anyone else want to see how Crow's weapon works? Because I want to see how Crow's weapon works. Right. Actually, is that dude in the intro? Is that Crow? Yes. Yeah, yeah that's, that's Crow. Also, how Ruby does does Summer look? Like uh, that, is, all that is literally Ruby when she turns twenty. Yeah. When Ruby is twenty, <laughs> that is her. Just with a white coat. Yeah. yeah instead of a red one. Little white riding. <laughs> <laughs> oh, actually, quick question. I'm curious because Summer Rose is obviously Ruby. And Crow there is obviously be acting all white, but which do you think does Tai Yang go to Yang or Blake? Because I can see either Tai Yang or Raven being the Yang of their group. I th well, considering see, we'd what have we to know actually about meet, the we'd start, we'd have to actually meet them. No, no, because really so based off of what Ruby said in yeah, the I beginning, just, think just based off this photo, really. But yeah, but, but based yeah. off of okay, fine. But based off of what we were told about uh, Yang learning a lot from Tai Yang. Tai Yang, uh, I would say Yang is their Tai Yang is the Yang of their group, and uh, Raven is Just like a combination of, of Yang and and because uh, she's still kind of the rogue type anyway. Well, you know yeah. there could be like different like types of teams and how they're organized. For one, we could probably have like a really no no Ryan. Team. Every team must parallel each other to exactly. <laughs> Otherwise, Every they're not team balanced. Is a clone. <laughs> How dare you insinuate Everything that this team must is be capable equal. of writing No fun characters. allowed! No! How dare you? Fucking I mean, Team up, Cardinal is pretty... I, I had to go with, with Ryan because Team Cardinal yeah. is pretty aggro. Like, they're all kind yeah. of attacked. They don't really have any defense. Ooh, that reminds me. I forgot about Team Cardinal. I want to see what they're up to. Yeah, because we all block them like I'm probably like the only like person who wants to see Team Cardinal because I kind of want them to get character development to stop being such dicks and be interesting characters. They're I, always going to be a... dicks. I you know, but they John have the potential to, like, take to be a step characters. towards the big guy and the, the, what the whatever the fuck his name was, and he just fucking flinches. Cardinal. Is it? Is no, yeah, there, there has to be there has to be like different types of teams where they're not all really well balanced well i mean team auburn wasn't exactly well balanced yeah exactly and they didn't like they didn't really collab very well they're they're kind of all okay on their own especially uh arslan the leader or supposed leader but like you know they're not as cohesive as team ruby is yeah, and that's I mean, why they have a train I mean, ideally, really. you want a well balanced team, but you can also make specialized teams work really well. Yeah, but you I still need say, a team I to like work how, together. I also want to say, I love how how Ruby, like the whole verse of Ruby, just really embraces its anime heritage of use whatever the fuck you want as a weapon. Dan, I couldn't really understand you there. You kind of um, turn into an android. He, uh, he likes how all the weapons can be anything the hell you want. 
Well, yeah, that's the fucking premise of the show. I mean, there's a skateboard yeah, that just... turns into guns that then turns back into a skateboard. <laughs> no, or hoverboard. Fair, when we first saw it, it looked like the, the idea was weapons that turned into other weapons. Specifically, like, shifting melee to, uh, to ranged weapons kind of thing. Now it's really I, literally anything. I like think anything, and that's awesome. I think that, uh, that, that sounded really cool when you were when you were trying. I, I think. It listen, I a, think Dan was life. wrong about his his uh, assumptions. <laughs> it's not Ruby that turns into a Decepticon. It's Dan. Yeah. <laughs> this joke's gonna make no sense in the final product. No, it's not. It's gonna make no sense. But It'll it's make worth sense it. if they go back and watch our original <laughs> podcast available on our channel. Why is God, guys, shush. Is someone running their fucking lawnmower? No. 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 I mean, hang on. Hang on. Keep oh, talking. I think someone's running with a lawnmower outside right that now. Ju that just happens to me, my um, Dane axe. That happens to transform into a lawnmower. That's my really drunken. <laughs> <laughs> but that's not a gun, Ryan. It has to turn into a gun. Fuck you. I can do whatever I want. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, but those are the rules. You can have anything as you of, that you want as long as it also turns into a gun. Oh my god! Somehow. Will, you, will, oh my god, will you want? Actually, running their lawnmower. Will you want to know what's the, the best part are about actually rules? Actually, running their lawnmower right now. Let me guess. Well, you want to know what's the best part about rules? Let they me... can be broken. Yeah, it, it's fun to break them. I know. I understand. Just you gotta do it right. You you can't just break them willy nilly like. Well, uh, hey, I didn't like, say that my man. Shyamalan. I love breaking look, legs look. as much as the next guy. Listen, you look, can't I break didn't... all the rules you, you like M Night Shyamalan. Look, it just doesn't work that way. Yes, Ryan. Look, you, you, look! You never <laughs> let me like. You never. I could have rocket launchers on my lawnmower. You never let me finish. Well, but you have to I'm say you that. Now. No, I don't think I'm just gonna keep it a mystery now. Now that Damn you fucking. Damn it! Now I'm really curious. What did I miss while I was confirming the legitimacy of the lawnmower activations? You, lawnmowers. You missed, us, you missed, you missed lawnmowers. Us, you missed us talking about Ruby Volume uh, Volume Three, Episode One. Like yes, the, like yeah, like the rest of the people watching this pot, or <laughs> rather listening into this podcast right now. All right. Uh, um. Let's. Okay. Uh, how about this? Oh, um, um. I. Oh yeah, go on, Will. So go on, right Will. before uh, Weiss's card is declined, she gets a call from her father, and I personally think that that's her father telling her. That if you don't pick up, I'm gonna decline your stupid card. Probably. Or I'm gonna send. Or I'm gonna send your big sis to you know straighten you out a bit. Or that. Probably both. From what we've Probably. heard about her, her father. Yeah. He's an ass. I'm he's I'm he's kind of a scumbag. Him. Probably. Wait, who's so, kind of a scumbag? I kind kind of. Weiss's dad is apparently dad, kind of a scumbag. Who is? Probably. Yeah. Weiss's dad. You know, from oh, yeah. Weiss's perspective. Weiss's dad. I'm sorry, is... I was reading the wiki and I spaced out. Well, actually, from Weiss and Blake's perspective, he's a scumbag. He's yeah. he's one bad dad. Which I think is kind of the reason why they're okay with. Dad, he's dad to the bone. No. Uh, what? If... Also, no. uh, Blake's bow is really fun to draw. What? What if? What if? Um. Just why randomly. Like, These guys. Bad dads and why, why does yes. does Blake ever has she ever actually needed that like ever? Needed, um, like not even. Just, okay, so other than like, see, I guess she was all of the Faunus understand that she's the Faunus, except Team Ruby until they were told. But Ozpin knew, though Ozpin's a badass, so you know. Oh, and you know has transcripts for everything. every student probably. I, like, yeah, I'm, but look, John got in. Hold on, can I just say, though, I mean, like, the only thing I could think of, and I, I thought this right after I asked, is that she's hiding from Adam, but even then, she, it's not a good disguise because her face is so clearly visible. All she's hiding is the fact that she's a Faunus, and as Faunus are clearly, like, allowed wait, but, in the You know, school. I was just thinking didn't, about that. Wait, didn't she have yeah, like, a bow? In, she had a bow oh! in the trailer. So it, it's, not, think, it's nothing new. 
I think That's I might know also, why. Yeah. I think I might know why she's wearing a bow. A bow. Um, why? Because you, cause you did say that Faunus are allowed in the school, but remember, Yang, I mean, um, remember, Blake, unlike, uh, who's the name of the bunny girl? Velvet. Velvet. Yeah. Yes, I know that Blake, name. Blake, unlike of her, she was in the White Fang, or at least was involved with it somewhat. So She was involved with it since mm. she was like 10 or something. Or alternatively... There's the she was in it before it went There's a conclusion violence. we haven't arrived at yet, is which she, is um. Yeah, well, she might be. She just likes wearing it. That's she also might true. be want, She might. No, be, impossible! How dare a girl like to wear a fashion accessory? <laughs> this is blasphemy. No, she might. <laughs> she might be wearing it to conceal like her identity. If people, you know, especially like you I know think, the army. I think are. I think she doesn't and, want yeah, to be identified like as here. like a faunus because of uh, all of the the pretense that that comes with. Well, that, I, that I think she just wants to be treated to as a, a person and not an animal, like a lot of people treat faunus. Mm. Also, I guess it's because if she's gonna wear a bow anyway, then it just fits neatly over her ears. Yeah, that yeah. too. I think that's the most likely reason. She just Probably. decided to wear a bow and yeah. realized, hey, wait, these goes over my ears. I think, yeah, okay. Let's, uh, <laughs> I, I think that's the best. I'm glad we came to a conclusion on that. Ooh, quick thing, though. Why the hell does she have cat ears if she has normal ears as well? I don't know. Because don't worry about it! Don't worry about it, don't worry about it man. Because did, did, don't wait, actually, worry wait, wait. about it! Does does Velvet have regular ears? I think her hair covers. She does. Her head. Hold on, hold on, hold oh on. God. So she totally does. She has the real ears as well. To... Is there everything a conspiracy? Yeah, yeah Faunus are all lying. Just a... They just they just glue shit on. <laughs> I think I think if anything, it's the human ears that are fake. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> Maybe. Well, also keep in mind that it's just Take easier to have a character ears. model that's b built off of, you know, a human because it's identifiable. And then we add the the ears on because, like, if you if you see a human with like actual cat ears on the top of their head and no ears, it's probably really jarring, and in no I'm way. Not, also, you have enough hair to cover it. Quad, you have hair covering. Quad it, hearing it's action. Fine. Yeah. yeah. Fawn has four ears. That's what we've discovered today. Well, not all Blood of them. Blood hearing action. Deary only has two ears, and they're humans. That's true. And any faunus that has Speaking animal ears has four of quads. Ears. Or at least faunus can have four ears. That yes. Capable Speaking of, of quads. Oh. Speaking of quads, what do you guys think about the idea underneath that? Actually, wait, hand. Is that a thing? Let me see. Let me check. All right, all right. Keep talking while I check something real quick. Blah, okay, blah 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 blah. Actually, wait. Let me blah, ask. Blah, 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 has Adam has Adam been seen without his mask yet? That's nope. I don't think so. Nope. Not at all. What if what if? Now hear me out. You know how his mask has four slits in it. Mm -hmm. What if he has four eyes? Yeah. That's an interesting idea. Just four fucking eyes under that mask. Well, He's a fucking. I mean. I mean, I'm pretty uh, sure that's just the white fang style mask, but that's an interesting idea, maybe. Plus, I'm pretty sure Raven's four mask really has really squinty well. eyes so he can actually yeah. see out of it. Oh, I just had a thing! Actually, yeah, by the way, the four eyes is just a part of the white fang style. Yeah, no, because Raven I, does. I noticed on the wiki it's called a grim mask. You remember I had that theory that was destroyed as soon as we learned that Blake was a faunus. I had the theory that she was actually, like, part grim and thus sympathized with the faunus. Uh -huh. But that was obviously proven wrong. What if Adam is? And that's why he has, like, a special... Because his grim mask, different from the rest of the White Fang, has, like, this... Has a special design on it. Kind of like the grim. And he, maybe he's the one who implemented it, and that's actually his... Part of his face. Like, we've never actually seen him without the mask, because that's his face, because maybe he's part grim. And that's kind of why he added it to the White Fang. It's like, no, it's that, a cool that mask is thing. Don't question it. Yeah. That is interesting, but keep in mind that Raven also has a quote-unquote grim mask, and she's taken it off before. Well, the thing is, Adam hasn't. This is just a theory, after all. Right. Also, he's super evil anyway. And totally I, I unlike grim, the original. I'm not sure how original. evil grim actually are. Because I think they might just be antithetical to human life. And thus dangerous, but I don't know that they're evil necessarily. I'm 
Honestly, I'm picking up about every third le uh, word you say, Dan. Yeah, you, you have transformed yeah. into full blown Autobot. So, <laughs> more. Autobots. It sounds more. Roll it out. sounds more like. It sounds more like you're in the in between phase between Autobot and like. <laughs> He's call, being and, like, converted. Automobile transformation. Right. So. <laughs> <did you do? laughs> So yep, yep. Uh, Dan look, I'm not gonna repeat myself. It'll be caught by audacity. So yeah, yeah. So... Dan was about Dan was about to transform and roll out, but <laughs> unfortunately he caught the Trojan the Trojan virus. God damn it! <laughs> oh god! I knew I shouldn't have used Trojan. Real quick, real quick. While Contem you guys were going, I was taking a look at the wiki, and I'm gonna have Kenny flash a picture this picture up that I'm sending you guys. This is the current state of the images page of Neo on the wiki. Uh, let me see. Let me see this. Yep. You may have thought I was an average Moe Twin Tails, but it was me, Neo! <laughs> this is Neo. the actual <laughs> state of the wiki right now. That's amazing. As of October 26, 2015 at 8.44 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, this is the state of the wiki, and I could not be happier with this Apparently, community. Apparently, people also people who like Ruby also like JoJo, just like us. Yeah. So yeah. Yeah, I think everybody who likes anything just just so have. I've seen fucking Undertale mesh with JoJo, Ruby. It's guys, don't every, talk about Undertale. I still need to buy that JoJo. game and play it. Shut up. You you've seen hashtag um, Dark Donna do. Jojo, so... Yeah, no, I have official, official, like, on, framed with my anime figures, Dark Donna and P Cross Jojo content. Yeah. Signed yeah. by the creator. And yeah. artist by the creator as well. Man, the I wish I could meet that guy, that because he Jojo. seems fantastic. That's right. For I would shake his hand. Official. Literally, yeah, I'm going up. to... One, I'm going to one day. I'm going to put that up on eBay and make the starting bid like two billion. And see what happens. <laughs> I hope for people start to ask for it. For those at home, that's officially signed and made by the artist of Dark Donna, not JoJo. <laughs> I just want I mean, to clarify that. You know what you need to do now, Chappy. What do I need to do? You need to bring it to a con and get it signed by the creator of yeah. uh, JoJo. No, I... So you can have double the worth. <laughs> <laughs> then I can put up for four billion. Exactly. <laughs> four billion yen. Four oh, billion that's yens. actually not that much. <laughs> that would be oh. terrifying. <laughs> like, Considering that they can't. Well, like, no, you know, I like think I think by the end of the auction, the final bid will be a slice of pizza from Bonkers. Yeah. Uh, oh no, you don't you don't want that. That's um, like worth negative me. money, dude. <laughs> yeah, that that's like So by like going to bonkers and getting a slice of pizza, I am actively gaining money. No, no you're you're, you are losing money because you spent twelve bucks on bad pizza. You you, you <laughs> spent twelve bucks on pizza that's worth negative one. <laughs> yeah, so you spent twelve you are <laughs> losing you are gaining no benefit from you paying for that pizza. You spent twelve dollars on buying pizza that's worse than the pizza you can make by like buying DiGiorno. Well, actually, you could hand make pizza and hey, it come you out know, a lot yeah. better than most places. I actually, could... I actually just did make pizza th today. It was good. Did you, you guys flip it or did today? you use a pre made dough? Uh, let's see, I used flour with ginger ale for the dough and I put on t special tomato sauce made by a resident cook. But you can't spread it. You know, you know what place you can go to to get good pizza? You can go to Beto's Pizza and Restaurant located at 1473 Banksville Road in Pittsburgh. That's hey, not something... You... Wait, hold on a second, Chappie. We don't own that. Why are you whoring it out? Uh, about you... that... <laughs> you want to know what's the, you wanna know what's the <clears throat> best pizza, though? I've got some stuff to tell you after, we're, after this, Dan. You want to know what's uh... the best, what's my favorite pizza, though? Hmm. What? what? The the Ruby Volume Three Episode One pizza with um with Yang with Yang Maroni. 
You mean the bowl of, <laughs> of ramen Yang-a-roni pizza? Yangaroni is now a new word. We're using Yangaroni. Can, Yang-a-roni. can we talk about the size of that bowl of ramen? Or what I assume? Oh, oh, yes. Everybody just downed it. And, and how, like, that would literally not fit in, like, either in any of Team Ruby or, like, you know, Nora or Pyrrha. Well, maybe Pyrrha. They're, an- but they're anime girls. They can Ruby eat as much as they want and still that. say skin. Okay. They're I like Duck Dodgers. I'm a little upset, but besides the point... Also, no, um, Nora just downed that thing and then burped. That was I it. I want ramen that in that big a bowl. I want that much ramen. I want it so bad. Well, there's apparently a place... Also, that much fish. There's apparently a place in Boston where you have, maybe not that big, but a very large bowl of ramen, and it's free if you can finish it. But if you can't, oh, it's God, super expensive. We are going to that thing. Like, I know, weekend, I want to beat it. Do that. Because I feel like I, I could. I, I'm not going to feel, feel great like afterwards, but I feel like I could beat it. I yeah. would so do that. And it, I, it, I'd try it, at least. Anyway, yeah. um, I think I feel like we've said all we can for this episode. I look forward to the what? next one. Yeah, so should just, we just send it here? Yeah, hold I on, hold on. There, to Kenny, to, to Editor Kenny, that last p- part when Dan is talking just... Put over the transformer so- sounds. Yeah. No, not the sounds. Just the, an image. Just an image. Um, speaking of which, I heard you say Kenny. I thought you said Kenny. That reminds me. Where is Kenny? I can't understand what you're saying, dude. No. Now Dan Dan has went from an Autobot to freaking Hal from 2001: A Space Odyssey. <laughs> I'm afraid I can't, I can't let, let you, you say that, that right. Ryan. <laughs> what was that? I'm afraid I can't let you say that, Ryan. Ryan, will I dream? <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, it's confirmed. All my theories about them becoming I Autobots like... is just hopes because I'm secretly oh, a robot. Oh shit! Now we just went up. Now we just went all portal on us. <laughs> He's glad. He's going glad. <laughs> Oh, wait, actually, am I? Hey, Ryan. Ryan, am I better now? Because <laughs> I realized the issue is that I had um, I had my web browser up. God damn it. What? I mean, right, so wait, are we wrapping up? Cause yeah, there, yeah, we're there's... wrapping up. I have one okay, other question. I need to do things. It's wait, been no, an hour. You know what kind of things? It's been I an know, hour. One last, too, I so. just have one last question, actually, before we wrap up. <laughs> Same as it's now been revealed. Hey guys, I I can't take him seriously. He just, I can't understand a word he's saying. Hey guys, it's too funny. Remember how I said I started, remember how I said I started recording my audacity? Oh, don't tell me you didn't fuck. I absolutely did! Psych! Oh, you son of a gun. Alright, we'll we'll plan it. Alright, you know what? I'm gonna kick you in the groin next time I see you. Guys, shut up! I have a question about Ruby. Chaps just sound like he just came up with the most evil plot ever, and now he's <laughs> laughing maniacally. Chappy, Chappy, stop poking the pool. I don't know. I don't know. Your, your, like your greeting to me will be returned in kind next time I see you. Yeah. And don't worry, I will hit you. I will not miss. <laughs> and you will not see it coming. See, oh, see, see that, Leorio? You're gonna get the shit kicked out of you by Kurapika. <laughs> I, I don't get that reference. <laughs> You're Kurapika, Will. You are Kurapika. <laughs> oh, my oh my god. Will, I, I don't actually... Literally, you need to watch Hunter x Hunter for the sole fact that I literally call one of the characters Will. I know, I know <laughs> who you're talking about, and I have seen at least, uh, like, I think 15 or 20 episodes. Watch more. Watch more. Yeah, I, 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 I like someone else should. I really don't have <laughs> the time. You know what? You know what else doesn't have time? My bowels. All right, then you should probably and with that, go. Oh, yeah, and with and Dan that, has something to say. Oh, all right, Dan, try to speak. For fuck's sake, guys! Like, just shut up for a minute. Okay. Seeing as it's I, now been outed that I'm, <laughs> I, I am, and have always been a robot. Just let him finish. <laughs> We'll, 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 Dude, when you, the episode goes up, we'll know what he's saying. Penny? Yeah, we'll yeah, know what I he's saying. I can't understand what you said. I can't. Type out, type out your question. Yeah, t- Please can type I out ask my goddamn oh, question? Oh, I'm wondering that too! His, today, today's question comes from Daniel. His question is, 
Where is Penny? And I want to know where sh my child is, too. Oh, girl, we need to see Penny. We where is my Penny. baby? Penny. Kathy, she is my child. Also, I'm Penny's the robot the of this episode, group. I'm dropping the series. Also, Pe wait, what? If, if Penny is not in, in season three, episode two, I'm dropping Ruby. Wow. That's bullshit. Uh, I, I, hope, I hope that Penny has an actual... I, I probably doesn't, but I hope she has an actual team, because she said she wanted to compete. But, you know, to based off of the rules we know now, to compete, she'd have to have a team. And hopefully it's oh, not just might... a bunch of honored guards. Maybe her team Stan consists also of, like... Says, <clears throat> Chappie, I'm the robot in this group. Penny is my baby. I will fight you. <laughs> I will oh, fight good. you. Bring it the good, fuck good. on, bitch! I will fight you! <laughs> you guys go fight over your fictional characters. Anyway... <laughs> We, fight over your, we, we your will, underage wife. We already have a fucking three-way brawl over who's going to play our daughter when the Ruby I will fight out. all of you for that. I'll fight I all of you. I will I dibsed first, you I'll asshole. Fight all, I'll fight all of you, then, and I'll personally dig out your grave. I demand and trial by I'll, combat. And I'll bury you all for three ninety nine. <laughs> I'll bury you all in the Team Coward casket. <laughs> All right, let's get let's end this before we make it anyone else's ears bleed. Try by combat, motherfuckers. Try by combat. So we're making babies in our fights. Okay. All right. All right. That's yeah, not weird yeah, we in babies. our context at all. Before we get before we get way way off topic, um. Be sure, be sure to be on the lookout for um, next week's review, or rather next week's discussion of uh, Ruby Volume 3, Episode 2. Yeah. We're Yay. as excited as much as you guys. So with that in mind, we'll see you guys next week. And of course, don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe! We need a better catchphrase. But my nerd is bigger than all of yours. Shut up. <laughs>